G'day everybody, welcome back to the subtropical food forest. Sorry it's been so long since my last upload. We're back looking at my galaxy jackfruit tree. Um, about three and a half years old now. And we've picked seven or eight fruit off it uh, throughout the year. We still have one large fruit um, that's bagged up in the middle there. Now I probably don't really need to bag it. I haven't bagged any of the other ones, but I just put it on to be safe because I really want that fruit. So I have an early fruit for this new year. Um, the fruit, uh, sorry, the tree's just starting to put on uh, new flowers and fruit. I'm sure if you can see up in there, we got a couple uh, female, female flowers. I think they're being pollinated now because I generally hand pollinate. Um, and that just ensures a lot better quality fruit, I think. Um, and we are in the middle of winter, so you see these raggedy looking leaves? That's just winter, it's like stock standard here. Um, pretty much all of our tropicals look quite bad. Like, we haven't been too cold this year. Though we have got down to, I think 1.8 degrees was the coldest we've had so far. If I come in here, you can see this is primarily where I want the fruit coming off. Um, they're going to be new fruiting shoots at the moment. They're quite young, so they just have little um, male flowers. Up on this branch, you can see this is one I've already hand pollinated, which you don't need to do, but I just think the fruit comes out a lot better, and you sort of guarantee that you're going to have a lot of um, uh, meat inside the fruit, and it's not going to be um, all rags. Show you the way I actually hand pollinate. You can see there's a flower up here. This female flower, you can feel the outside of them feel furry when they're ready to get hand pollinated. So generally what I do, I'll look for a male flower like this. Um, if it will actually focus in, you can see the pollen on the outside of that flower. All I do is I rub my hand on that male flower, which gets the pollen. You won't be able to see it, but there's pollen all over my hand I can feel. Then I just go up, I just rub my hand on that female flower. And you'll feel the pollen comes off your hand really quick. The female flower just grabs onto the pollen. And that just ensures a great uh, fruit set. This is my one fruit that's still um, left on the tree. And he's, I can, I can hear it's getting closer to ripe. Um, when I pick that one, it's just starting to get slightly soft. When I pick that fruit, um, hopefully I'll remember to make a video this time. Um, you can see we have different, flowers, uh, fruit forming all over the tree. And this is pretty normal for me. We're in August, start of August. Um, for some reason, this jackfruit always seems to start flowering, um, for me anyways, in July, which is really, really the middle of winter here. You can see our figs are um, just starting to put leaves back on. Um, if I can work out how to do it, I'll add um, some pictures of the cut up fruit that I cut up uh, this year. Um, yeah, I'm super happy with the quality of them. Really nice yellow orange, uh, crispy fruit. I was really, really pleased. This is my uh, Clay Eagle Gold grafted tree. He's grown um, quite a bit since you've seen it last. I don't think it'll put on flowers this year. It may put on um, male flowers. I wouldn't think it'll be putting on female flowers. You can see. The stumps actually um, develop quite a bit. It's quite a bit larger. And he's also now, I can only reach up to about there. So he's seven and a half feet tall. Um, and he's actually been growing quite a bit through winter, even though we've had a cold winter this year. Um, it seems like his roots just gotten established and he's absolutely loving it now. Our other jackfruit over here is my J33 seedling. I believe he was quite tiny the last time you seen him and he's really really growing quick now he's probably seven feet tall um and both these the uh, coyote gold and the j33 i planted about 15 months ago now um and he may like this guy may get flowers this year um if he does they should only be male flowers i would say it's going to be quite a while to actually get fruit. I'm hoping next year, though, that might be a little bit optimistic. Um, but I think the seedling in growth, he's going to take over the grafted tree. For some reason, uh, seedlings, at least for me, just seem to grow far, far better uh, than the grafted counterparts. When we come down here, I actually recently just got a new jackfruit seedling. 
Um, this is from a guy up in Cairns. Uh, the variety is Amber, which is an outstanding variety of jackfruit. I literally just got it and put it in. You can see it there. It did have more leaves, but um, I thought because we were in winter, the young plant's leaves wouldn't get sunburnt. But yeah, I was wrong. Uh, the leaves got quite sunburnt, so I put this little bit of shade over the top. I think once he throws his roots out and establishes them, he'll, he should be just fine. He'll throw out some new leaves and it won't be an issue. That's an amber I planted, I think, one week ago. One other thing I'm considering doing uh, this coming year, I've got a couple seedlings from my Galaxy Jackfruit that I harvested this year. I'm just throwing them in a pot here. Um, that's them there. And what I'm considering, I'm considering actually growing these guys up to probably uh, maybe two feet high and then actually grafting um, scion wood from another good quality jackfruit onto them. Um, now I'm not overly great at grafting so I'm not sure if that will work. Um, I'll probably watch actually watch some videos on YouTube, get a better idea on how to do it. Um, but if I do decide to do that I'll bring you guys back and show you and we'll see the produce uh, whether it works or not. Anyways, thanks very much guys. Uh, it's Josh from the Subtropical Food Forest.